You just said that uh, within that um, that answer that you had no doubts Jaden Daniels would would take off quickly in his first four weeks, but even even to the extent that we're seeing, I mean, we're seeing an accuracy level uh, on the likes of Drew Brees, Jordan, and we're seeing um, the efficiency certainly over the last two weeks. I know Burrow is one of your guys too. Uh, that throw he made to to send Joe Burrow to zero and three is one of those wow plays that you don't ever see from a rookie, really. Um, in game three, certainly in his first Monday night game. So, what made you think that with Jaden? Well, the level that he's playing, breaking records. No, I mean I, I, this is this is incredible. This is unprecedented. I mean, break a record; it's literally unprecedented, yes. right? I mean, he's hasn't done before. Um, but I thought what would translate for Jaden is what translated for him at Arizona State. And I've known Jaden since he was a sophomore in high school. And I was calling games for a little bit for Fox. And I actually called uh, Arizona State at Oregon State his true freshman year and watched him battle back to, to tie up a game with they had no business being in. And I think what it is is because he's pretty quiet and because he's not flashy and because he doesn't he, – I don't know that how much he cares about marketing and media. Um, he just is kind of to himself and he's quiet. He's not like a, one of these lightning rods or, or magnets where we're all we're going to overanalyze him. And so the other part that happens is people don't, they didn't pay attention to him. They didn't, they, I, like I watched every Arizona State game. Like they didn't, people didn't watch that. And, uh, and so when he went to LSU, I saw Burrow all over again because he's going to play with some playmakers around him, but it's going to translate right away. People don't realize that Jaden Daniels is a true freshman. At the end of the season, had Oregon come into town, Justin Herbert, and all Oregon had to do was beat a bad Arizona State team with a true freshman quarterback. And they didn't. Jaden Daniels outdueled Justin Herbert. And so when you see Jade go back on the history of Jaden getting thrown into situations that he may or may not be ready for, get thrown into situations that every single time people said he's too small to, he's too small to play as a true freshman. He's too skinny to do that in the NFL or to do it in the SEC. That's what they said at LSU. Now we all concerns about how skinny he is and how slight he is heading into the NFL. And I just see him continually over time. He's created a pattern of being ready for the next level, whatever that next level is. High school to college, Pac-12 to SEC, and now SEC to NFL. And I just, somebody who's got a, a pattern of handling that well, I'm certainly not going to bet against or doubt. Uh, and then on the mobility side of it, he's fast. A lot of guys are fast to play quarterback. But the difference between hit, the way he uses his athleticism and, say, uh, Caleb Williams is he is a decisive, put your foot in the ground and go guy. There's not a lot of clips of Jaden Daniels bouncing around and, and dancing in the pocket and creating that way. Uh, there's a lot of examples of him pump faking, putting his foot in the ground and getting to full speed. That translates to the league. And uh, so the combination of those elements, and I think everyone underestimated how good Terry McLaurin and some of these other guys were because of the quarterback play around them, I would say. And you got a perfect storm, and Cliff Kingsbury is the perfect guy to be orchestrating this. Why? Because he's done it with Kyler. And what I just said about running around and creating time and space by making people miss in the pocket, I don't remember the stats in front of me, but Kyler Murray was pretty close to the NFL record for sacks his rookie year. He ran into a lot of sacks. What he got away with in college, get the edge, you know, set the, make the first guy miss, make the second guy miss. Well, in college, not every D lineman has a motor. And in the league, they do. None of the guys pass rushing ever give up. And so you run into a lot of sacks. We're seeing it out of Caleb now. We saw it out of Kyler Murray when he was with Cliff Kingsbury his rookie year. That's not Jaden's game. That's not what he does. And so you're getting all the good that, that Cliff has done before in the NFL, you know, at SC, before that, Texas Tech. All that. You're getting all that experience. You're getting an offensive coordinator who doesn't think we need to win by outsmarting the other team. We need to win by keeping it simple, playing fast, and executing. That's not every coordinator believes that. And that's what's worked for Cliff. And this is the perfect guy uh, to be running Cliff's offense, a guy who doesn't run into sacks and create losses um, and who's decisive and can play fast. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 